Hello, my name is Victor. Uh, FCK Editor is a HTML what you see is what you get editor. Uh, and today I'm going to show you how to integrate FCK Editor with Drupal. Uh, we have a fresh Drupal 6 installation here. Uh, first thing we have to do is to download the necessary files. Uh, we have to download the right module for Drupal 6. It uh, starts with number 6. Uh, it's not a very big file. Okay, here it is. Uh, we're gonna put this into sites or modules directory. Done. Mm, take a look here, we have a readme file. We're gonna use it. Uh, okay, that was the first step. Uh, the second step is to download uh, the FCK editor editor uh, from the official site. Uh, we're gonna download the latest FCK editor 2.6. It may take a while. Okay, here it is. Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, we have to unzip it into sites or modules uh, fck editor slash fck editor directory. So we have to unpack it here. Let's do it then. Okay, the next step is to enable the model in the administra administration section. Scroll down to the bottom and you should see FCK Editor module. Okay. And uh, the next step is to grant permissions. Let's go to user management. And uh, we're gonna allow all users to access FCK Editor. Okay, let's go to the another step. Uh, uh, I'd use the, the FCK Editor profiles. Okay, let's do it then. I will check the advanced profile. Well, there is plenty of options here. Uh, I will change the skin to silver. It's a bit, uh, a little bit more modern. Okay. Uh, the next step is to uh, configure. Uh, input format. It's quite uh, an important step. Uh, uh, filtered HTML uh, input format by default uh, allows only selected HTML tags. Uh, for example, it uh, strips uh, image tags. So we have to extend uh, the list of allowed uh, HTML tags. Uh, let's delete the default list. And use our list. And the last line. Let's save it now. Okay. Uh, next step uh, to have a better control of the line breaks. Uh, 
let's disable line, line break converter. Oops. Uh, it's here and it's enabled by default. Uh, we're gonna disable it. Okay, and the last step is to modify the fckeditor.config.js file uh, and adduce it to our needs. Uh, it's located here. Uh, but in fact, uh, we're not gonna change it. Uh, and that's all. Uh, let's check the fck editor now. Uh, let's create a sample page. Oh, there is a FCK editor. Let's write something. Mm, let's make it bold, uh, italic. Let's create a sample list. Works fine. Uh, how about uh, an image? Mm, let's use some ready image. Mm, it seems to work. Let's save it. And that's all. Have fun. Thanks for listening.